Legend of Total War here with part 4 of my Europa Universalis Rome Let's Play campaign as Rome. Alright, so previously we conquered a little bit of territory around here and up here. And, um, just trying to make sure I keep it all together. Now, I've released episode 1 at this point, and I've come to the realization that that I'm probably not uh, as familiar with this game as I used to be, and also that the Ve Victus expansion changes a lot more things than I have initially thought, especially to do with characters in the Senate, and that I've probably been avoiding using that stuff because I'm not aware of it, and it's probably going to be to my detriment. Now, comments are uh, giving some advice in the first episode about how to deal with the Senate that I'm actually finding useful. Now, I normally don't, don't listen to advice because most people just give personal preference advice in terms of, like, the usual sort of the, the go of it is, oh, why don't you use you know control groups? Oh, why don't you do things the way I would do them? And I don't like that kind of advice. I always say, just play the way you want to play it. There is no one way to play the game. However, some of the, the advice given about how to manage characters I'm finding fairly useful. I'm interested to try it out. Um, I think one of the reasons why I wanted to avoid using the characters is because it, it can backfire on me really badly and cause civil wars, and civil wars are really, really bad. Um, I'd like to avoid them at all costs, and uh, some of the advice might help me to to avoid that um, that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to organise things based on men, and from what the advice was given, if we get if we grant titles to everyone, they should. Avoid being in the um, the populist faction. I mean, that guy's already in the populist faction. He's completely disloyal. What if I was to imprison him? The populist faction members' loyalty change. I think we can imprison him for low loyalty. So let's do that. Um, and then if we go to imprisoned, where was that guy? That was him there, Appius Claudius. So he's Tribune of the Treasury. If we banish him, I can confiscate a fuck ton of gold. I don't care about the loyalty changes of populist members because I don't give them positions anyway. If I execute him, it does increase tyranny by a lot more, it reduces his family prestige. I say we execute him. The crime of disloyalty. Either love Rome or die. Okay, um, that's how we're going to roll. So looking at this, leader of the civic faction. Um, let's grab, grab that. Give them one each, it doesn't really matter what, as long as... Yeah, we just want to avoid them becoming a populist faction member. And anyone who's disloyal is going to get getting imprisoned and executed. Probably. It's kind of weird how I can give them all... All five, it seems. I don't really care who gets what. There's a lot of th lot of things to go through, but part of the problem is I haven't done. I didn't do this at the beginning, and maybe I should have. That might have made things a little bit easier for me. It's not really made clear as you know who should be given what. I guess it's just going to come down to trial and error. Maybe each title is more or less worth the same. I don't know. But there's a lot of a um, lot of character stuff, and I haven't I haven't delved into this at all yet. I'm going to start to do that now. I'm not going to do that while the game's running because every fucking second something happens. As in, you know, when we do it well, the, th the thing's paused. We'll just go through this now, and I'll probably do it like once an episode, or once every so often, I don't know. I don't know how valuable this is going to be to me. 
It's a lot of characters. Also in this episode, hopefully we'll take out Macedon finally and Bosphorus Kingdom. So I don't know, militarist factions should be Tribune of the Soldiers maybe, not Pontifex, religious ones should be Pontifex. Pontifex I think just means priest, right? Uh, that was civic. Ah, fuck. I mean, I could have given him this as well. Oh, hang on. This guy here is... He's actually reasonably loyal. He's a former Dux. He's an Edile. Alright, never mind. Just leave him alone. I'll keep my eye on him, and if he ever drops loyalty, you're, getting, you're going to jail. And if you go to jail, you get executed. I won't, I won't stand for any shit. Okay, this guy here is... Celtic. I don't want to give him any titles. Oh, whatever. Fuck it, I don't really care. As long as it's not causing any problems, I don't mind. No titles to give him. Okay. So going back to imprisoned, let's have a look here. Actually, no, go back to men. I don't think we need to deal with the women. That, I mean, we can't give them any titles anyway. Um, there's some women here who are in jail. Wait, I thought I clicked on women. Yeah, there's, I don't, there's nothing really that we need to do there. So, looking at the men here. I don't know, go, going to imprisoned. So, if we look at this guy here, he's Greek, but he's probably... His home country was Magna Grecia. He was probably of the militarist faction of Magna Grecia. Now, what if we release him? He's an excellent soldier. Ex excellent commander. And he's loyal. He's probably been in jail for a long time. The current Edile will not be happy. Now, I'm pretty sure the Edile was of the populist faction. Now, I don't care about them. What if I banished him? Just out of curiosity, no. I'm gonna release you. So let's have a look at people who have got excellent stats. Right, it just hasn't refreshed here. And maybe release them. So this guy here is an Illyrian. Fine. You stay loyal to me. What are the ramifications of this? Religious faction members will approve. Lucius, whatever, who cares. I'll release you. I might want you to command my armies. Now what about governors who are good? We've got some good ones here with high finesse. Reasonable loyalty. You're a maniac though. That doesn't matter. Former Pontifex Maximus. And he is of... He's a Sarmatian. Okay, fine. I pardon you. Because you're... It's a meritocracy here. Let's see what you can do for us. Wartime... Best thing to do after wartime is start forgiveness, I suppose. If you've got something that I want, I might put you to work. Uh, let's see here. Another Sarmatian. He's not bad. Seven's not a bad stat. Anything under seven's kind of, kind of crap. We'll release him. No one else here is any good. Okay, looking at disloyal people, though. Titus, whatever. He's Roman. He's of the populist faction. And he's a complete shit. He's bad on all fronts. Just absolute crap. If we execute him, 
the populist faction members will hate us, but Lucius Julius Labo, the mercantile faction leader, will like us. I don't think it's... It, just kill him. Okay, this guy here is disloyal. Didn't we just kill him? Oh, uh, this one here. Alright, let's, let's leave that be for the time being. We did a bit of politics, I might jump back into it in a bit. Let's just see what the ramifications are of what we've just done. Okay, Omen success chance would be good. Let's do that. And also, let's... Should we really put a foreigner in as... as a censor? He might make a good governor instead. But maybe we should be putting Roman governors out that way. I don't, I, like, I don't know what this is going to do, but I'm going to put him in charge there. Don't worry about trading come. Okay, so what else we got here? Thessaly can trade with Argolis. Fine. We should offer a sacrifice. They're kind of expensive. But I mean, I've got the money. Alright, let's do it. Just wondering if I was to claim dictatorship, what do we need to do that? We need to, we lose three stability. Why why can't we do it? So the ruler must have higher popularity than eighty. It's got to have a lot of traits to it. So yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Oh, what's this one need? I'll have a road network in Eturia. Well, I need to be able to build a road network. All in due time. Okay and can colonize these settlements over here, which I should do, but also it's a pain in the ass doing colonization. All right, let's, let's get moving. Right, if memory serves me correctly, this guy here doesn't have a general. Let's have a look. Now, this guy is level 10, so he would, it doesn't get any better than that. So I'm gonna put you in charge here. He's a military faction. Alright. Do a good job. Because we'll be going to war with Macedon soon as well. And I want you to kick some fucking ass. Oh, so, okay, so... This is what tyranny does. It reduces our research points. Uh, increases national revolt risk. And reduces popularity gain. Mm, okay. I'm sure it'll go down over time, right? We can speed this up a little bit. Yeah, get rid of these pirates and then come home. So we're currently gaining... 1,000 troops per month. Obviously, I want to try and increase that as much as possible. That certainly does help. Even when we get a bad dice roll, helps to negate and save more of our troops. Now, Macedon. We got a truce with them till 503... July 26. But if I declare war on these guys first, which I can declare war on in 10 days, they'll probably jump in and assist. I think. Okay, we can already colonize this province here. That'll come from Bononia, right? No, no. See, that's going to come from Liguria, because Bononia doesn't have the population yet. But Liguria should colonize these two. If they colonize these three, it'll take longer. So 
let's um, let's recruit a mercenary to try to trigger these these guys. How are we going for money? We're doing pretty well for money. So it goes down by 0.1 a month. So it's going to take a hundred months to go down to zero. It's, okay, so um, I definitely need to be more careful about tyranny. It definitely has its downside, especially research. We're already pretty shit with research. Okay, we can declare war on them now. Now, what level are you for, as a general? Four. Probably should put someone else in power. Because you suck balls. This guy here is completely disloyal. He's of the mercantile faction. I mean, I should probably put him in jail and execute him for disloyalty. How old is he? Definitely do not play. He's 69 years old. He's probably going to die on his own soon. This guy is also disloyal. This guy here is very loyal. We'll go with him. So he's already a conqueror. Oh well, too disloyal, can't have that. And now we just need to wait for Massimo to jump in. Now it's also very important that we get a peace treaty with Macedon first before Fangoria, because we declared war specifically on them. I'd also like to finish off. I mean, unless we win this war before they even join it. Barbarian Revolt where? Torica. Okay, um. Just ignore that for the time being. We'll be back over that way very soon. Good, good dice roll on that. Okay, now, just need to make sure we're not at war. Okay, we're not at war with Macedon. They haven't joined in just yet. Annex them. Good, head over here. Don't click this until they're until they're in position. That'll that'll time out eventually and just do it. But just try and hold out as long as possible. Okay, the truce with Rome is Oh, sorry, with, yeah, their truce with us is over, so now I can declare war. Of course, it causes more infamy by declaring war as opposed to them joining the war, but... Oh, well. Maybe a time of peace after this could go a long way. Right, so your job... Uh, let's see, what should we do first? Yeah, Vaconti I, because we can use use that as a, um, I don't know. Okay, should be easy to take this. Mm, you can do better than that. Yeah, that's much, much better. Good, and Macedon is out of here. I'll be annexing them, thank you very much. Increases my infamy, but whatever. That just makes it less likely for me to be able to get Agreements with other people, let's face it, that's as good as gone now anyway. Good, that was easy. Now, I might want to bring him over to here because I want to take out Colchis and Pontus. Which just leaves one guy left here. Okay, we can do that now. One guy left here to defend the whole thing. Maybe giving him an extra 3,000 troops would help. What? Oh, that's gonna send it with me. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't it? Oh, yeah, he's got some cavalry. That's, that's fine. I find heavy infantry, generally speaking, to be the most cost effective.
Cultural absorption in Epirus. Excellent, because Epirus has a large population of free men. That is going to give us a big... Hang on, let me just see here. That's going to give a huge portion of, um, of manpower. That's like an extra 100 a month. That's like 10% extra. That's excellent. Good. Things are going well. Alright, I'm going to give you a promotion for that. Uh, what's your name? Marcus Fabius Lucinus. I can't grant you a title. And you're not even that good. So that was just really lucky. He's already got a title. Alright, I'll just leave him be then. I'm not going to give him a bribe. He's already loyal. But yeah, very happy with that. Okay, so now it's 45% chance of success on this stuff here. I'd really like to do Blessing of Cupid, but the problem is is that it's still more than 50... It's more negative chance they have to get a negative effect. So I'd still rather just go with uh, with what doesn't matter, like trading... If I lose a little bit of trading income, it's like less than one gold per month. It's not that much. See, if I had lost population growth, it completely stifles my economy. Well, not economy, my growth. Alright, you're done. Come over here. Because we're going to declare war on... Wait. Truce with Rome for... Oh, we, we, hang on, hang on. That's going to end fairly soon. What about Pontus? It's roughly around the same time. Okay. Because if we don't take out Pontus, somebody else will. Alright, you just, you just stay there for the time being. Trade agreements available there. What might be a good idea is triggering some of these barbarian tribes now. Just so, better to deal with them now than when it's really inconvenient. Top priority needs to be given to taking out most of these barbarian settlements, as in colonizing them. Because for one thing, more tradable goods is a good thing. But more importantly, just stopping these, stopping the number of barbarian invasions is, is going to help us a long way. Because that's going to eat up a lot of our manpower. Another problem though is that on the edges of the map, that um, barbarian stuff can just pop up. That obviously can suck. My dick, but whatever. Independence guaranteed by Pontus and Seleucids. So, yeah. So, I kind of want to lower infamy. So, I'm having a look here at Imprisoned. This doesn't... This doesn't really juice it, does it? No. This guy's Macedonian. So I'm just wondering if, if this is actually going to help. Like, I don't... As long as they're not disloyal, I really don't mind if they're foreigners. This guy here, he's not very loyal. Alright, I'll, I'll leave that be for now. No, 
no, don't, don't be, hang on, let me see here, he's no good, the person in command of the navy at the moment, Um, he's Marshal 5. I guess they want him to do it. But his Marshal's lower. No, go away. We did actually lower um, tyranny. Okay, okay. That's Greek. Should I just release them all? Except for the populist. I'll release this one here. Okay, that's good. So how did our tyranny like drop by half? Cause it didn't do anything that time. So I don't know. Maybe it's because I released a specific person. Let me just see again. Hang on here. I don't know. Yeah, no, I still prefer military republic. Can we make this... not yet. This guy is actually better. Uh, but he'll refuse to give up... No, no, so no. Okay, so he's coming down this way. Looks like he's going to go to Dardania. What's your command level? Seven. I mean, it would be better if if he dealt with it. Because he's, he's an amazing general. How's your loyalty? It's pretty good. Let me just see, what's, what's his loyalty stats going to be like? Okay, just leave him be. Good, looks like there's not going to be any issue here. Wipe that, and we get some more slaves, which is good. And we can colonize it. Now, just looking at Rome's populations, it's 62.4. goes down to 50, it drops down by a certain amount at 2 or 3. And then some of it comes from, from Liguria as well. So yeah, he picked up the troops from Suki as well. Is fine. 
I wonder if it drops by 0.5 at the end of the year. Uh, not 0.5, by 5. I don't know, I don't know why, why it dropped so much before. I can't explain it. So it didn't drop at all that, that month. That's it, smash him. Even when they roll a better dice roll, just it's a horrible place for them to fight. Money exchange for a new position. Yeah, I don't really care about your personal wealth. And he's a populist, so he can he can suck a dick. Fuck off. No populists in power. I don't want them anywhere near me. It's good. We've seen that drop a little bit. Let's command the 5th Legion. Alright, well, let's see who else is here. This guy here is too disloyal. Probably should imprison him, but... I really don't want to increase my tyranny anymore right now. Same with this person here. Doesn't matter how good their command is, that is just... I can't deal with that. How old is he? He'll die of old age soon enough. Just just leave him be. What about this one here? Same with him. He's kind of old. This guy's a populist, and he's disloyal, so he can fuck off. This one here, also too disloyal. We don't have a whole lot of choices, but... That's just... We need someone to command it. Shit. When is he arriving? 28th of October, 1st of November. See, that's the thing. We knew that they were coming because we triggered them. These guys here, it was just like, surprise! Fuck. Go away. Hang on. So he's... Duke of the Bosphorus. Time to find a new governor. Well, let's just check, just check how corrupt he actually is. That's weird, he's actually not corrupt. They were actually in the middle of uh, attacking the settlement. Oh, they nearly won too. Jeez, good thing we saw them. If we had waited one more day... Come on. They've got a really good commander too, because that guy here is level 10. Come on, give us some... Give us some good dice rolls. Just women, whatever. They do, do whatever they're gonna do. We actually lost more troops than they did. It's a good thing we didn't leave before. Wait, so where'd they come from? They must have come from here. Okay, you can now come and stand over this way. Alright, now Benicius gets the governor. This guy here, he is... Ugh, I want to have a look at his stats. He's got high finesse, so... That's fine. I'd like to get the technologies, but as we expand, anytime we take a settlement, none, none of those people there are citizens, and so it reduces our research rate, because as we take more settlements, it requires more um, more research. So I guess that's good, it just helps us to make more money, I guess. We can now declare war on them. Yeah, I want to try and snatch up this territory out here before the Seleucid gobbles it up. Better in my hand than theirs. But if I do that, I'm going to need an army to patrol here, because of this stuff out this way. And also, they could revolt. And I'll need another one up this way. But I'm starting to recover... What's this? Oh, right. I was never going to get that done in time. Build up manpower reserve. Finally, I is about to recruit a new army. How much? Percentage of max power more than 0.9%. What's 1% for us? 
That would be one point for one thousand. So it should automatically get done, right? So this is one that we get punished if we don't do it. No, no, we, we, if we win this, which will, should happen instantly, we lose War Exhaustion and Infamy. I guess that's good. Is percentage of max ma manpower more than 0.9%. they give us to do that? It's a little bit unclear. They've given us a lot of time to do it. Alright, invoke another omen. Doesn't really matter what. At least it succeeded this time. That's good. That'll be ready to colonize again soon. Alright. Now if we go to war, we can kiss that mission goodbye just about. So... I guess we need to wait. I mean, I don't really need it. So if we fail, we gain two War Exhaustion. That's not really a big deal. It goes down very quickly anyway. guy here is not horrible. He, he wouldn't make a bad diplomat, I suppose. Kind of want to execute this guy here, though. How old is he? He's only 21. Alright. You're free. Those two can die in, in jail. I guess that's fine. I mean, he's, he's not the best for that, but I don't really care too much about that. Because like I'm not actually prioritizing that much. With the technologies. Not at this stage, anyway. More of a land grab at the moment. Coming in over here. How many troops is that? 18. Hang on. We're gonna need we're gonna need this guy to deal with it. Just in case, because this guy here, he's level five. Yeah. Leave nothing to chance here. No, hell no. 
Um, just a just a placeholder guy for the time being. You'll do. So no matter what happens, he can't have a higher command skill. It just comes down to RNG now. Random number generator. Let's see what they do. So, appoint him to Edile. Is he any good? No. But we want them to have fewer settle senators, so... He then become... He's no longer a populist, but we could always just fire him. It doesn't matter, he's not too bad now. Because he gained some stats. Alright, so looking at it... Yep. Even... Oh, well, we, we got the same... Oh, there we go. There's the RNG failing us, as per usual. But thanks to this, it's offsetting it. If we had left the other guy in here, he would have had a 1 plus bonus. Because the guy on the head 5. God damn it, we love to roll zeros over here. Yeah, definitely want to keep the populace out of power. And it's starting to work. So. Now, does it possibly mean 90% of our max manpower to return? Because that is a lot of troops. That's That would be... 130, 120 something thousand troops would have to be here. That's the way. More slaves over here to Rome. More population. It's good. Okay, we can now... Oh, we can do this settlement over here as well. Okay, it's been emptied. We could do that right now. But should we do it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, the sooner the better. Well, then again... Alright, let's just do it. It's unlikely to kind of come under attack in the meantime. So I still want to declare war on these guys here. Are we ready to do that now? Yeah, I'm not, not sure if I'm really going to worry about this mission. I mean, it would be good to lower our infamy by a little bit, but it's not worth me just not doing anything in the meantime. i got to get on with this, or else the Seleucid Empire is going to take it. Uh, and they'll be a little bit more reluctant to declare war on me, because I won't. I won't be such a pushover. Alright, so you take these guys on. Hang on. I'd actually really like it if you would command, but I can't do that for another few months. How good are you? Six. Is there anyone better that's actually loyal? Not at the moment. Okay, we'll just have to make do for the time being. I wonder if they're going to stand their ground here. I mean, we've got 22,000, they've got four men. We outnumber them more than five to one. However, the RNG can totally fuck us up on this. Oh, we did it. Gain. All right, good. So that's done then. And they want us to destroy Carthage. Carthago de Lenda Est, huh? Fair enough. I wish they'd give us something a little bit smaller to achieve. Because it's just a, it's a big job. I don't really want to go to war with Carthage yet.
It will just chew up so much of our manpower, and there's there's more profit to be made by bullying smaller countries and getting getting rid of the um, the minor settlements out here. Uh, not minor settlements, the barbarian settlements. Okay, we all with Pontus as well. All right, time to get going. Uh, where'd my fleet go? Oh, what the hell? How do I do that? Right. Of course, you're not very good either, but... It I don't imagine that Pontus would have a lot of troops there. Press the issue on Genko and Koraxi. That's good. By doing that, that just means we're not going to get any revolts from there. Press the issue. Good, we got a call there. That's really good timing. Alright. Let's get going. Okay, we just wanted to grab all this stuff as quickly as possible. No sense in having a drawn out war. Nice. That will work nicely there. So now they're heading towards Karaxi. It's fine, but let's cut them off. It's picking up some more troops. Maybe maybe we should actually go there. I don't want them to, no, they're recruiting troops here as well. So I don't know. Big expansions for Rome coming through. Okay, we can occupy this, but we need to we need to root these out first. That attrition's killing us. And the RNG, of course, failed. Oh my god, he's way better than us. And of course, we of course we had to score a really low number. But the thing to note is that I mean we outnumbered them by such a huge margin. How many troops are there? It's just one. We lost a thousand men, only killed forty-four of theirs, but at least we won. really good there and that stops them from getting reinforcements as well no, that's bad that's good that's the end of Pontus there sue for peace annex them I may not actually need them over here to win this war This all went very, very smoothly. But what about Iberia next? Probably good that we take it, because if we don't take it, you, you know who will? Seleucid fuckers. Barbarian absorption in Vocontii. Good. It's a Roman settlement. It's only going to increase our manpower reserves by a tiny bit, but that's still better than nothing. Also, I think I need to make these videos an hour, not an hour and a half, just because I know this game's actually not that stable. Now, you're a really good governor, but I would prefer for you to govern some place where you'd be more valuable to us, like here. Because the higher the finesse, the higher chance of it being converted over to Roman culture. So you can command here, and he can have... There's just better ones out there. Like, this guy's not bad. As long as they're not disloyal. There you go. Now, you stay here, but if they 
if they lose, you'll need to go over there and quickly take this. Because there's always a chance of losing. Hang on. We know that they've got a commander of 10. Level 10. You come over here. I can't take him out just yet. Well, we scored well with the dice roll, so that's not too bad. Now, you need to very quickly capture this. Just wait two days, you'll get some extra morale. Alright, we'll get you over there then. I don't need you here. And Teneus. You just have to wait. Good, the war is won. All of that went down very smoothly, I think. Why can't I annex them? Are you fucking kidding me? I guess you can only annex them if they ha if they only have like one settlement left, which is a fucking pain because look. They're not gonna have much left after this. I can get them to pay tribute, but I want their settlement. I don't want their tribute. And then what I'll do here, to make sure the Seleucids don't fucking take it, I'll proclaim a guarantee there, which will last only for five years. In fact, you have a very low chance of actually activating that, that um, barbarian invasion. Hit that one first, much higher chance. Okay, so I know that there's there's more barbarians out here that need to be triggered. Let's um actually just stay over here. I'll recruit a new army there. Cause we need to we need to make sure we got coverage. So let's see, we get four of these guys in the army. Four of these. And then twelve principes. There. I'd hire elephants, but there's no way in hell I can get any trade agreements with, with um, Carthage. So you stay over here, and he'll patrol down here. Now I'm thinking about hitting the Iberians here, because I don't want... I don't want them to take... So I'll proclaim the guarantee here. It's a good thing he was on the way. Crane's more important to us. So yeah, taking the settlement here, very low chance of revolt. It's just because of different culture now and war exhaustion, which is not that big of a deal. Alright, there you go. Scored a zero. Fucking moron. But then they, then they scored a zero, so that's good. Make sure you chase them. Sometimes it's good to put people in low loyalty in positions where they can't revolt. So you've got low loyalty and you suck at everything else. I'll put you in there. Barbarian absorption in Helioventi. Where's that? Over here, okay. Encourage it. Good. Been Romanized. So how many is coming over to us? 
Levin, where did I come from? They're coming from, from history. Well, let's have a look to see. Yeah, still just two people imprisoned. Actually, no, no. One of them must have died. This guy here is an excellent commander, though. Is he... He's Scythian. Don't know where we got him from. How old is he? He's 64 years old. He's reasonably loyal. I'm going to release you both. Shit. He's going to hit a pulley. How much time have we got? Not enough. There's, there's no way it's going to be able to defend that. But its culture level right now isn't really growing anyway. So the, the big downside is they may actually destroy the colony. He becomes the governor of Achaea. He's not too bad. He's a bit disloyal, though. Hmm. If he revolts against us, it's not as bad as a civil war. But I'll accept the Senate's guidance. Sucks going through this land here because we're undoubtedly going to take some attrition. So this army here is, isn't ready. You won, right? Why, why are they still there? Come over this way. They're going to come down to, to here. Wait, can we, can we offer the barbarians land as our client state? Try and do that a little bit more often. I'll offer them to settle. Well, I offered. Wait, where are they going now? Okay, so over here we've got. Which one's the governor? This one here. He's the Ducks of Iberia. Apparently he's corrupt. Yeah, whatever. What's this? With our current predator having served a full term... Oh, let's come That's a populist faction. This would. Yeah, sure, whatever. He's. It's fine. Okay, so that happened. Where are they going? There's only going to be a few of them. Alright, they come into Liguria. 
Who's gonna get there first? Fourth of April. Okay, but there's only gonna be a few of them. It's very unlikely they're gonna capture the settlement, unless we're extremely unlu unlucky. What I could do as well is hire some mercenaries there. They'll be recruited in time. The their only job is just to delay them a couple of days. And then once they're defeated, we can occupy this, and we shouldn't have to deal with that crap anymore. Because Governor of Magna Grecia, he's not very good. But anything that we can do to drop down the senators. In the, wow, we've we've hammered down the populace this time. That's really good, because populace are the worst. <laughs> Fucking pricks. How are we going over here? We have a pretty strong chance of losing, actually. I might have to just quickly cancel these because they're going to get killed and I don't want my manpower getting destroyed. Nope, they still won't accept it. Too little too late now. These guys don't have enough. They're not ready yet. Well, we killed... We killed just as many as we lost. They're unlikely going to make an assault. God, he was the he was the good one. Fuck me, I, I was going to use him to, to win this. So what's wrong with you? What's your command level? So he's not that bad, but this guy here is just a lot better. You know, oh, that didn't last long at all. So how many of them are left? There's still quite a lot. This is why we've got to clear them out while we're... While we're here. Oh, wait, we never replaced him. Actually, I'm going to have you command him. This one here. because you'd make a better commander. I need every soldier that I can get. They've still got probably more troops than us. Ah, shit. What are we, if I wait, if I wait two days, I'll get some reinforcements. Just get back in there. Keep their morale as low as possible so that they don't attack the settlement. They've already started attacking. But luckily the RNG is in our favor this time. That's good. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, jeez, it was only just. You gotta get in there. You gotta get him out of there so that I can recover. God, that was close. 15,000 versus their roughly 15,000 as well, but their morale is low. Ours is much higher. And we've got a new general in here, and you just take the other guy. It's fine. Oh, they're coming back down here. Get some action. Okay, how are we doing? We beat them straight away. Great. But that's not the end of them. We've, all we've done is killed 1,700 of them. But at least we've saved the settlement for the time being. The chances are he's probably going to head down to Dardania. Hard to say. If he heads over here, I'm not going to be able to do much to stop it. The, the other thing that I can do is chase him into Suki. Anyway, that's something for another time. I think I need to take a break. Uh, so that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe, part...
5, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.